Sterling and Corporal Zuma did an outstanding job. They should be commended for a job well done. I also want to thank you and your com command deputy chiefs, Craig McDermott and Michael Kirshner, for attending the wake services. You should be very proud of your officers and dispatchers. The family of Helen Merlusak. We also received a letter, the police department received a letter um, from the Indian Springs School District. Dear Justice Police Department, I would like to express my gratitude for the help you offered to bring you school students on April 1st while the students were riding the school bus on their way from school. Thank you for keeping the students calm and reassuring them that they were safe on the bus. Working together shows the students how all community members get their safety as our utmost concern. Sincerely, Crystal Spitolis. And the last letter I received um, was it's sent to the Justice Police Department. On behalf of the Tiger Cubs Pack 13, we would like to thank you for the tour of your department. The kids really enjoyed it. Keep up the good work. And I would like to extend our thanks, the full board's thanks for the uh, great job the police department does with <coughs> in touch with the community. Thank you. And that's all I have. Thank you. Administration Building and Recreation Trust Australia. Thank you, Mr. President. Good evening and thank you for coming. I only have one item on my agenda tonight, and that's a motion to accept uh, for application eight $500 scholarships to attend college uh, in the fall from <coughs> high school seniors that reside in Justice. The deadline for submittal is May 15, 2010. Second. Elko. Trustee Bartosa. Yes. Trustee DePaul. Yes. Trustee Murray. Yes. Trustee Fairman. Excuse me. Trustee Pastorino. Yes. <coughs> Trustee McGee. Yes. Sorry, George. <laughs> Good evening. I have two quick items tonight. One is uh, the passage of a home occupation license. The Southwestern Modeling Incorporated doing business at 7302 Oak Grove Avenue in Justice having passed all inspections and being in compliance with all codes and ordinances. So Trustee Paula. Yes. Trustee Murray. Yes. Trustee Pastorino. Yes. Trustee McGee. Yes. Trustee Bartosa. Yes. Okay, I have uh, one more business to bring up. Approve the business license of U.S. Import and Export Incorporated, doing business at 8118 South Robert <coughs> of Justice, having passed all inspections and being in compliance with all codes and ordinances. Yeah. Second. Helpful. Trustee Murray. <coughs> yes. Trustee Pastorino. Yes. Trustee McGee. Yes. Trustee Bartosek. Yes. Trustee Paula. Yes. And other committee meetings. Mr. Mayor, that's all I have. Building plots and zoning. Trustee Mark. Trustee Murray. No report to see you. Thank you. Councilor. Thank you, Mayor. No report. Any correspondence? Uh, nothing other than what I mentioned earlier. Old business. Schedule for meeting meetings. I'd like to go ahead and schedule a committee meeting for finance and insurance um, to discuss posted payables and um, potentially to bring forward a revised um, health insurance renewal. I'd like to jump in there uh, after Thursday for Tosex meeting or uh, ordinance license, whatever should be brought forth uh, before May 5th time. And if it's okay, George, if we schedule one for public works, for public utilities, yes. following that one, we'll find out what's needed, whatever it is brought up for public utilities that day. And now following the safety of any matters before the committee. If there is something following Mary with administration building and recreation, um, I'd like to continue the discussion about improvements at the Pinsky Center, including <coughs> sound dampening and the purchase of a generator and any other matters that come before the community. How about any matters? Public comments? Yes? I just have 
one thing. Um, I think there's a house at 7340 that has a home occupation license, and I'm not sure, but home occupation license is usually you're not supposed to park vans or have stuff stored at the house. Is that correct? Well, you, you're allowed to park one vehicle All right, with the because name on it, no big truck or nothing. There's always two vans plus a pickup truck with the ladders piled on top of it parked there every night. There's crap on the side of the garage that's falling into the neighbors, and I think they have stuff in the garage, but it's not open enough for me to see it. So if somebody could take a look over there. Okay. Uh, Jim, did you get that address? 7340 what's South 86th Avenue. 7340 South 76th Avenue. 86th Avenue. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have Jim check into it. If you want, I can either get back to you or we'll